Plant and Animal Adaptations. Please pause the video to take any notes. Adaptations. A living thing or organism lives in a specific habitat. Survive means to live. Thrive means to grow, live, and do well. Each animal and plant survives in specific conditions that they have adapted to. Please pause the video to take notes. Adaptations. Plants and animals survive in their habitat but may not be able to survive in other habitats. Can you think of why? Plants and animals have adapted to their specific environment. Think about it. If an animal with a lot of fur in the cold mountains um, were to move to a hot habitat, they would not be able to survive there. Let's review how a living thing or organism survives in an environment. A plant needs sunlight, water, carbon dioxide, space, and soil. An animal needs food, shelter, water, oxygen, and space. Please pause the video to look at the pictures and record your notes. Let's talk about adaptations. An adaptation is a characteristic or change that an animal or plant makes to live in a specific environment. Can you think of any adaptations that we have learned about in class? Let's talk about the Piedmont. This is information about the Piedmont. It has warm weather, rolling hills, lakes, and rivers, and Atlanta is in the Piedmont. Please pause the videos to look at the pictures and record your notes. The first animal that we will look at in the Piedmont is the Great Blue Heron. We might see the Great Blue Heron. What adaptations do you think the heron has that allows it to get food? It has long legs. The Great Blue Heron uses its long legs to stand in the water and hunt for food. It has a long beach beak to reach into the water. Please pause the video to record your notes. The Red Cockaded Woodpecker. This woodpecker pecks holes into trees to get bugs. Can you think of any adaptations that it has to help it survive in this habitat? It has a sharp beak to peck through the bark on the tree. Please pause the video to record your notes. The groundhog. Take a look at this groundhog. Groundhogs dig into the ground to make shelter. Can you think of any adaptations that help the groundhog to survive? Groundhogs use sharp claws to dig into the ground. Groundhogs also have camouflage fur to blend into their environment and hide from predators. Please pause the video to record your notes. The dogwood tree. This is a dogwood tree. Do you think it's coniferous or deciduous? Do you know any adaptations that a dogwood tree would have? The dogwood tree is deciduous. This means that in order to survive, the tree will lose its leaves and flowers in the winter. The dogwood tree thrives in the well-drained soil of the rolling hills in the Piedmont. Please pause the video to record your notes. Let's brainstorm.
Humans are changing these animals' natural habitats. On your note-taking guide, you have two questions. Please brainstorm about these questions and then write what you think would happen. The first question is, what do you think would happen if harmful chemicals got into the water that the great blue heron hunts in? The second question is, what do you think would happen to the woodpecker if humans cut down all the trees?